Hi guys. So I wanted to talk to you guys about my Invisalign. I have had a couple requests and a couple people tell me to do an update video on my Invisalign. So that's what I want to come and talk to you guys about. Um, let me zoom out. I'm like a little too close here. So uh, basically I'm all done with my Invisalign treatment as of right now. Well, I'm not all done. Let me take that back. I'm on my last and final try. I don't have it in right now. Um, because I was eating chips and I didn't brush my teeth or floss, so I can't put them back in. But I'm on my last tray. Um, I have to wear them for about two months because um, if I don't put my trays in for a couple hours, my gap slowly does open. It's not a lot. It's very, very thin. But um, I don't know if it's because of that gum surgery that I had, that the gum is still healing. And that's why the gap is kind of still opening. Like, we're not sure why it's happening. But, you know, to be safe, he told me to continue with the, the my tray. And then after two months, which I think would be sometime in September, I'd come back and that would be, you know, my last, you know, would be my last tray. I wouldn't be getting any more. And then I would get uh, retainers or aligners, I think that's what they call them. And yeah, and then I'll go from there. So um, if you guys didn't watch my my beginning journey, I'll post that video down below so you can see how I started. And it's crazy seeing um, old videos of me when I had my gap because it's just crazy the difference that my smile is. Like it's insane. Like I didn't think my gap was that big back in the day then until I saw pictures of it and I'm like ah! Ah! Like, it was so big! like I was like how did I make YouTube videos and talk with that gap it's crazy but I remember one of my first videos that I made two people who were like you know they're always like shadow people they never have like a profile or anything they wrote like the meanest comments about my gap and that's like all they wrote was talking junk about my gap and I remember the last time I got teased on my gap I was probably in junior high so it was a really long time and I'm you know like I'm older now you know so I don't it was so weird like I really felt a certain kind of way because no one's you know when you get older people don't talk about I don't know people don't tease you like they used to when you were little so for someone to tease me, especially, you know, like in, in a social media type of way, it kind of like, not necessarily bothered me. Like I kind of laughed, but it did that night kind of like make me look at my gap in a certain way. And I always wanted to get my gap fixed, but honestly, just financially, I just wasn't there to um, get it done. And I finally was in a place, well, I finally am in a place and in a job where I have, you know, good health insurance and, and um, you know, I can, I had avenues to pay it off so I finally you know went did the consultation and I was kind of titter-tottering back and forth whether I wanted to get it or not and I just finally did it and honestly it's been like the best experience it's been um just really it's just really made me very happy and very confident in my photos and in doing videos and just in smiling in general not saying you shouldn't love who you are um, but I know my gap was just something that I was really insecure about. And even when I had my gap, it made my lisp even worse because my tongue would just like stick out through when I use like certain, um, certain letters or so when I would say certain words and, um, you know, it just really bothered me and made me very self-conscious. So the Invisalign treatment was amazing as much as I say, you know, sometimes it was a pain in the ass, but it really wasn't that bad. Um, you know, they're very easy. You just take them in, take them out, clean them, brush your teeth, put them back in, you know, for hours. And they just start to get kind of normal and they kind of just kind of make their way into like your new routine. So my doctor, my, well, my periodontist is amazing. He's Dr. Pezza. Um, any of you guys that live in Rhode Island, he's located in Cranston. He's amazing. His staff is so friendly and he's very friendly and he was just just a really positive person just was just very nice and when he would just 
he like totally dealt with me when I would be dramatic or when I'd have these ridiculous questions like he was so good with me it's so funny um so yeah this is I'll do a close-up of my teeth so you guys can see so here you go I mean it's practically closed I mean sometimes there'll be like a little opening right here but for the most part you know they're closed it's closed it's crazy right it's insane like there's there's no gap so when I had the surgery done they got rid of this uh, bone right here so I can show you guys so that bone that we have right here inside of in the top <laughs> in the top portion of our top lip mine had to go away and then a couple uh, a little piece of gum on the back of my uh, front teeth they had to scrape them off and it's so funny because when the dentist I had to go to my regular dentist to get that surgery done because my periodontist didn't did that didn't do that and he, when he when he took it out he was like dang this is the biggest whatever bone or fib fibrotomy whatever he called it I've seen in a long time and I was like and I'm like this like ah! I'm like what are you talking about I was like freaking out and you know they all try to say like that surgery was not a big deal that you know wisdom teeth hurt more no that was the worst pain I've ever been in in my life it was so it's so bad that I couldn't smile because you know stretching out your lips when you smile I had um I had uh what do you call them I had stitches there so it hurt so bad and I'm someone that loves to laugh and smile so that was like torture for me like I like, <laughs> babe don't make me laugh <laughs> but after the surgery was done and I recovered I noticed that the the gap was doing better and making more progress with my Invisalign and I really think that that you know that whole thing really had to go away in order for my teeth to connect so that was pretty much my biggest battle but I think it's been about a year that I've had Invisalign they predicted about six to eight months but I think because of the surgery it's went on for about a year um, and even when they gave me extra trays it was not charged I wasn't charged extra I paid you know the full amount that they said at first and that was it and yeah now I'm just finishing off my journey hopefully the gap never opens again I don't know I'll try to be really responsible for retainers but you know we're human sometimes we forget you know the next thing I really want to do is get some type of teeth whitening I don't know if I should get crest whitening strips or if I should do whitening lightning I don't know there's so many there's so many products out there to whiten your teeth so if you guys have any recommendations or you guys know any really good ones please let me know in the comment box down below I would love to kind of see reviews or you know what your opinions are on you know whitening strips or whatever because I've never really had any whitening strips but um, I noticed because of the Invisalign my teeth have have a little bit of discolorization not a lot but I have noticed that there's a little bit there and I don't know if it's because I'm staring at my teeth too long but I do want to do some whitening so and the dentist does it but he was charging $75 and I was like oh, that's kind of a lot of money um if you guys have questions feel free to leave me a comment I will definitely love to answer them and speak to you guys about Invisalign or braces or the price or or anything just let me know I'm here for you so thank you guys so much for watching this is probably the end of my Invisalign journey I may do another video after my, I'm done with my tray maybe six months after to see if it really worked or like you know what's still going on I'll probably make another one so I hope you guys have a great day thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video and I will talk to you guys later. Mwah!